We'd like to start the ceremonies today. I'm Dennis Cobbler. I'm a charter member of the Chapter 31 uh, VBA chapter. And I'd like to, before we get started, uh, point out some notables in the crowd. I know all of you out there are notable one way or the other. But with us today, and if I miss anybody, uh, please raise your hand and introduce yourself. But with us today, we have former State Representative Holly Hughes over here. As far as I know, we have two former uh, county commissioners, uh, Don Ailey. Don, I saw him a minute ago. And Chuck Brazell. Over, over here, okay. And we have uh, the all-time favorite county sheriff, former county sheriff, Bob Taylor. Or, excuse me, Bob Carter. <laughs> he was so popular, I forgot his name. <laughs> okay, Bob. I'm now going to ask the uh, mayor of Norton Shores, Gary Nealon, to briefly welcome all of us here today. Mayor? Thank you much. Well, thank you. Oh, what a beautiful day. Uh, glad you can all come out. We've done this uh, in the years past, and it's always great to come here and honor everyone on Memorial Day and to see everyone come out and uh, be proud to be here, and we're glad to have you. This is a Norton Shores Park, so we really like to have you here. Um, I I'd like to tell everyone it's always sunny and well, it's 70. I always joke it's sunny and 80 in Norton Shores, but we truly appreciate you coming out. Like the veterans, we, we love how they take care of the park for us, help us out. Um, and just it's, it's a wonderful day to have you all here, and I'm glad to be here as well. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like now to call upon one of our chapter members, Bill Collins, for a welcome. Uh, thank you, Dennis. On behalf of the Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 31, I welcome you to our Memorial Day observance. Memorial Day began following our Civil War as a time to honor the dead of that conflict, both the dead of the Union and the Confederacy. This special day to remember the human loss of both sides was first celebrated in 1866. And by coincidence, ceremonies took place in Columbus, Mississippi, and Waterloo, New York. Two years later, in 1968, the Commander-in-Chief of the Grand Army of the Republic ordered that May 30th of that year be set aside for the purpose of strewing flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died in the defense of their country during the late rebellion. More recently, since 1971, Memorial Day has been celebrated on the last Monday in May, the time when the United States thankfully remembers and honors its servant, his citizens who have died during the war in service to their country. 